And the truth is there are still human rights defenders on the ground. Now, obviously the work they are doing is not always very out and public human rights monitoring, for example, but there are still a range of actors on the ground still carrying out forms of human rights monitoring and to a certain extent forms of human rights advocacy. Now these are a range of actors and they face many challenges. Um, we recently at the Eastern Horn of Africa Human Rights Defenders Project organised a consultation meeting with over 20 defenders from throughout South and Central Somalia in Kampala and a lot of the challenges that they identified were obviously in terms of security, um, movement etc but also of their office space and security of information particularly for those who are working in insurgent controlled areas of the region but also in terms of isolation. Defenders on the ground often feel very isolated and cut off from the international community. And this is one area where we can see that there is a need for a concerted effort, both from international human rights organisations, but also from the donor community, and in particular the European Commission, which is intricately involved at the moment in Somalia, notably with the transitional federal government, to actually put some concrete strategies in place to support human rights work on the ground. From the discussions we've had so far, there is currently no local implementation strategy for the EU guidelines in the Somalia context. Now we see some very key areas where such a strategy would be very useful and we feel now that it's important that the European Commission, seated in Brussels, encourages the European Commission on the ground in Nairobi, as the Commission is in, in Mogadishu at the moment, encourages them to draft such a strategy. Now, some areas where we feel that such efforts would be useful is once again in terms of protection. So offering human rights defenders on the ground the security means, so both in terms of their capacity to protect themselves, but also in terms of the physical security, which will obviously incur certain financial aspects, but also in terms of political support. How often do we hear the voices of Somali human rights defenders in the, in the meetings which we are having one after the other at the international and regional level on Somalia at the moment? How often are their messages heard? Now these messages are obviously also very key in terms of long-term accountability and in terms of the longer-term fight against impunity, which was one of the biggest challenges at the moment to long-term peace in the country. So what we would call on is the EC here, but also the European Parliament, to start asking why there isn't such a strategy at the moment in Somalia, and to start to think quite concretely how to put this strategy in place.